go through the things that you went through. And I'm going to end on this note. I want to really say that the generation that came after Malcolm X, Dr. King, Fannie Lou Hamer, we probably produced from the 1960s onwards some of the most educated, talented Africans in terms of the diaspora than, we have, than we've ever had in terms of their understanding of the issue. So why has the understanding they have not filtered through our community? It is not filled through our community because we haven't supported those people. We often run those people out of town. We make our own people sick because when they speak the truth, we run from them or we don't back them up. And I'm speaking here not for myself, I'm speaking about, um, I'm speaking about the fact that people like CLR James, I don't have to agree with everything that everybody said, but I know the pain of people who wrote books that you never read. Capitalism or slavery. I, I, I had the misfortune of reading the introduction where <coughs> the man had to, Eric Williams, the man had to pay the authors to publish his PhD. And he had to borrow the money from his friends, which he never got that money back because the authors wouldn't accept capitalism or slavery. <coughs> Sorry, the publishers. Now, what is my point? When I read that years ago, it brought me to tears because I realized that here's a man writing for his people and he's got to pay to get it published. We are now in a situation where we can talk about these issues within our family, we can talk about it here, and we don't take it seriously. Three, four hundred years ago, you're on a plantation, you try and have this talk and see how many of you come out of it alive. So I understand history and memory are sacred things. Your memory is your history. And without a memory, you are lost. You will be lost and left brain dead in the Western Hemisphere. And we have had generations of African people that have been brain dead meaning that they are disconnected from their identity and their history. And because they're disconnected, they cannot fulfill their destiny. So what I will end on is this. If you want the healing to take place, you're going to have to institutionalize. Institutionalize the teaching of your history, your humanity, and your culture. Until you do that, then having sporadic meetings where two or three of you come out, and we cheer, we never, ever remove the systematic chains that have been placed around every one of our heads. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So what did you think of today's event? I think it's been excellent. Um, we managed to get three good speakers, but I thought the lady was in, in particular very good because um, she really demystified the old uh, reparation movement. I myself um, did not um, um, quite understand what it was all about. And I, uh, of course, I, I knew about it, but the way she um, analyzed it, um, it really makes sense to me. And I think it makes sense to most people and we understand what it's all about. Uh, some of these issues I deal with as a professor, these are some of these things I teach, so they were not new to me, but the reparation talk I thought was excellent. Would you like to see more of these events in the future? Of course, I, I think we, 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 we need this kind of um, um, seminars in Liverpool, and I think the museum um, has done excellent. Um, I bring um, this together. Unfortunately, it's been a very cold day. So even though I, I thought the theatre was almost full, I, uh, we could have had some more people. It was a warm evening. So um, um, I'm really, I'm really happy. I came. Uh, yeah, I enjoy. It's perhaps not quite the word. I found it very instructive as well. Okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, I've got a, um, a mixed race friend from. Uh, Dominica mm -hmm. and also another one from Guyana mm -hmm. who talking just uh, uh, anecdotally to me about their consciousness of being black and black history and this has given me more context for that so I'm very grateful and such events should continue especially in Liverpool.